Hello and welcome back to the Bree campaign and in this episode we will be moving to help yeah we've got a, a few things to sort of do we've got Agendower here that's moving towards us Councilman Andy the chivalrous is going to be taking on Captain Durin and we still hold the crossing and I'm going to be moving what's left of our troops back towards Bree when I can because the gatekeepers are there and Reginald is laying siege to the Dunlending keep there The Dunlendings are holding siege at Londaire. And we hold Suduri in the crossing. And soon we're going to be able to start training units out of here. To help bolster our defensive forces in this area. Led by Frodo. No relation to other Frodo apparently. Um, and that is about it. So let's end this turn. But I hope everyone's doing, or whatever anyone's doing. Uh, I think the campaign's going fairly well. <laughs> Sorry about that. And there is the battle that we need to deal with. Captain Durin. Who comes at us with a fairly small army that the Angrim Raiders are to watch out for. And we need to win this battle. So let's start deployment. Now we've at least got a decent hill. So let's move on top of the hill. So we're going to put the Breland Militia up front and then supporting them I'm going to put Andy on this side. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to overload this flank with archers and then I'm going to have some archers here as well. And finally, the cav I'm going to bring to here. I think that's good. Now, I'm thinking by doing this is that there's going to be a wall of Breland militia that they'll hit before they hit Andy. Come on, there's the hunters there, clansmen, raiders, raiders. So we're going to counter them with them, them with them, and those archer militia are going to attack them. And really, I need to think of a way to sort of... If we can get the cav to commit, I can then wheel my cav... ...into their archers. So I think that'll be what I do first. Let's get them ready to charge. At the moment, they're wigging out a little bit. We've lost, they've lost 20% and haha, -ha. right, they're going for the bait. So, you guys, attack there. Right, 
We should win this. Our cab is better. And really, we just need them to hold out as long as they can. So come on, Cav. This is down to you now. Kill as many of those raiders as we can. And our cav, with a slight downhill advantage, is decisively defeating these river scouts. Aha! Decisively defeating them. Come on. Come on, that must be the end of them now. What's left? Ah, there's the captain, is it? Come on, Andy. You got this. You definitely got this. Please tell me you got this. I feel like our infantry line is beating theirs. Our men have slain the enemy general. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Right, my thinking is that now, if I move those guys into this position here, they should, in principle, come on, you got this. Twenty cav. Next, forwards, that way. Let's take all of these archers now. Let's wheel these guys round. And then move them into there. Come on. You got this. Andy, you're going to hang back now. And we're going to let the, the Breland troops... These Cav are going to make a move on those raiders. That's what we need to do. Right, there's still a lot of those archers left. So we need to be slightly careful. Angren raiders aren't doing particularly well. Killed 80%. Only half our force remains. Yeah, well, it's the better half. The survivors will have songs written about them. Right, they're probably not going to be coming back now. So, if we now make a move on those hunters. And we'll throw Andy in again. Because I'm sure he won't get himself killed. I'm 
I'm sure he won't get himself killed, he says. Immediately knowing that he'll get himself killed. Oh no, he's, he's being a good boy. He's hanging back. The enemy army the field. And run Come on, down. we have to run them down. Go on, Cav. Come on, you have to kill them. The cav is doing their bit. to get them to the point where they won't be coming back. The sooner that we can do that, the better. Right, they must be... Aha! Literally a couple of guys running off over there. So this was a, a fairly good victory. This is what we needed. We needed this sort of victory. The one where we killed pretty much all of them. go. And there's four more of those clan hunters that have got to die. There's one guy left. So we've managed to It's a good victory. Not a great victory, Mr. Announcer. But it's at least a good one. So we lost 274. We lost half our troops, but they lost everyone but 13. Managed to heal some back as well, which is good. Especially six Greenway Riders. We sort of need that. Uh, we've got a pretty small army left, though. So we're going to need to be slightly careful with how we approach the next campaign. That's sort of what we need to do. If we can hold them in check, we can beat them. No, please, my lord. Oh, oh. That's the end of them. That's the last major army they've got in the field. And my hope is that Overlord Agendau is just going to sit there and look pretty for a while. And he's gone. And the goblins are right outside our gates. And uh, we've made some money out of that. So we don't want art. Karasant is besieged. The Hornburg is besieged. Moria is under siege. Skiliath is under attack. Everywhere is under attack. Uh, and Bungo. Ah, they took a Numenas. Perfect. So now we need them to go north and fuck about with Dead Man's Dyke for a while. Yeah, that would be positive. Let's just quickly move those few merchant men into there purely because I'm going to get a level work soon which means we're going to be able to train some more troops out of Mengelum which is going to make it a recruitment center yay can we get greenway units watch Asgard no 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 but we can once we've built the roads. So once we've got roads, we can build more greenway units. I am just going to top them up. And let's move out 
these crap units north. It's three turns until they sally out against us. My army here is pretty damn good. You know, not amazing, but the strongest army that I think we've put together so far. It's got a little bit of everything, uh, including some gatekeepers. Uh, but it's also got two very decent units of cell swords. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is Spike is going to go here, and he's going to start spying on the orcs. And I don't think there's anyone else really about. Oh, there's Graban. With what's left of the troops of I am here only to fight thee, not to banter. Banter? He's got mad bants. Right, let's see. So Bree, are you still recruiting? You are. What would we rather have? We'd rather have the dwarven. So that's what we're gonna get. Can build axe guard units now in all of the Hobbit cities, which is good. And call Willashar. I'm going to build that. No, cause we don't really need to worry about that as a recruitment hub now. So let's build that there and start facilitating the ability to build units. That's going to be more important. Three units coming there. Can't train anyone there. And in Matrife, we've got a unit of journeymen coming out. So, yep. It's now more important that these areas become recruitment centres. Spike's moving that way. Rowley's moving this way. Not long until we've got more troops there. You have a fairly large army, but it's pretty shockingly shit. Court death? No, no. It's not to court death. Right, Bilbo is there. Alf, the just, the honourable. Everyone's just and honourable. Right. I don't like the goblin army that's standing outside my uh, my door. I'm not particularly pleased with this. But I will deal with it. And Reginard is sieging down. Oh, it looks like they're held onto Londaire. I will think I will move to make peace with. I've captured Argond. At this point, we've got bigger fish to fry. <laughs> Do you get that? Because they've got like a fish symbol, I think. Yeah, it's really terrible one-liners. Not good. I'm very chill today. Oh, we've reached the dead marshes. Don't care, don't care. Recruited some more units, which is good. So we've got pretty much now a full garrison to defend Sajuri. We've got three units of journeymen, two units of archers. No, in, well, we've only got two units of infantry. So when we can, we could do with... Aha! Exactly. Exactly that. And an armory. So let's build the armory. I think that will be a better investment. 
We're being shadowed here by Mr. Cockhead. Let's see if we can bait him into a battle. Because it's two generals and destroyed units. And he's one general. And they're being broken down slowly but surely. No fool, send your emissary to me. And then these units. Can I train Breland militia? Yes, I can. So, you guys are going to go there. Can you build merchants? You can, and it's three turns until you can retrain these ones. Can you build lumbermen? No. You don't have the units to do it either. So, the rest of these guys are going to go north. For retraining, because I wish to retrain the band of brass and the lumbermen, which is only one turn away. And these guys are absolutely crazy. They've got eight and nine. Look at them. Okay, so Fornost will likely fall on the next turn. And it's at that point that they will likely start turning their attention to us. I'm going to build another spy and I'm going to send him north to keep an eye on them. We've laid siege to Argon now and we've laid siege to Kelly on Mac. So they're both progressing well. Spike can move north and hopefully start keeping an eye on Fenis Drunin and the approach is here in fact. So we'll keep an eye on there, keep an eye here and then keep an eye in the north. That's my thinking. And we keep building troops if we need to here but I don't think we need to. 388. What can I get for 388? I can get some archer militia. So I'm going to get some archer militia. Militia, but we've got one decent army, which is good. At the end of the day, we can hold now at the river quite easily. And our expansionism is going fairly well. We've got to defeat Dunlan still, but we've got the troops to do that. Angmar want to bribe Bree, apparently, but there's no bribe function anymore. I'm alright, Sid. Skilliath is under attack, and... Failed the mission to contact Mordor, but I'm not all that bothered because we're only going to give us a hundred gold anyway. Let's make yes, my lord. Say hello. Unag the Mauler looks bloody horrible. Look at him. Right, let's move more north now. Yeah, okay. Yes, my lord. Yes. We've reached the site of the last alliance. Hooray. And you will move to Bree. It's two turns before I can grab those. Let's build... No, in Hobbiton. In Hobbiton, let's build the meeting hall. And then we can start building some more Axe Guard. And then here, we've got another agent ready to go. And Dead Man's Dyke is now in our possession. I don't like the way Angmar are doing this. It's freaking me out. Six turns until they surrender, and I'm prepared to wait that out. Just a load of these arseholes just moving around in my lands. Fuck off. That's what I've got to say to that. You know, Garban and 
that guy. You know, there's hardly any troops. They've been having fun with starving. It's been good for them. At least we're at peace with them. That's a positive. Uh, what did I do with my diplomat? Where did I put him? I can't remember where I put my bloody diplomat. Let's have a look at the function rankings. No, the list scroll and agents. Bucker, yes. he's there. Bongo, that's it. Okay, so. How's peace sound? For a, mm, okay, you're not happy. Uh, you're not happy at all. Approaching their dignitary. I shall continue tomorrow. Let's try and get trade rights at least with the Orcs of the Misty Mountains for a turn. And then I'm debating whether or not we should just attack them. If we can strike quickly to take Tirithuin and Bossul, we can develop at least a bridgehead here and move towards Imladris to relieve them. Decisions, decisions. Because, well, if we do that, um, I don't know. I feel like we're making a really large border if we do that. It's either that or I just push north to go fuck up Ang Ang Angmar. Angmar. Because Angmar own up to there. I think the dwarves own that. So, you know, if we can push for Dead Man's Dyke and then north. That won't be the worst idea. I will take your lands, then your lives. Okay, let's end the turn your will, my lord. in a second. Let's get them wish. into the town. And then we will retrain them next turn. Hiding in there, which there isn't. It's good. I mean, our Southern Crusade went very well. Ah, they laid siege to us again. And we're being attacked by Alien, who's an amazing commander. I mean, I've got to give him that. And also by Donighill, who is also an amazing commander, but isn't doing so hot when it comes to troops. We are completely, you know, beyond them. So let's see. In a defensive battle, I think we're going to be fine. So I think they're coming from the east. Uh, I'm going to use my tool sparingly. Units, await my orders. Very wooded. It's not what I wanted. Yeah, so... Now, we've got some crap fodder, first of all. So, let's use the fodder units. Face my wrath. Got two units of cell swords. And some bandits. So let's put the bandits. Let's put the bandits. We've only got three units of archers for five units of archers. So let's put the bandits, merchantmen, and these guys. First of all, let's put you guys in shield wall. 
and guard. I think that'll be best. Nice to done. And then we'll put these merchantmen here. Along with the bandits. The next. I'll put these three guys. And I'll put a unit of journeymen on this flank. Then I'm going to hold these gatekeepers in reserve. area I'm going to put these calf hidden away along with these lumbermen And I'm going to keep these best units all in reserve. Yeah, so this will be reserve. And then we've got our flanking force over there. The enemy have brought up more men. Hmm. What are they bringing to the party? They're bringing... Literally themselves. They're going to be in for a bad time. is like a storm of arrows. I am aware, by the way, of that army coming at us from over there. I'm just debating how I want to deal with it. Well, actually, have I just... Remains. <laughs> yeah. Only half the enemy force remains, he says.
battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. We'll do everything we can. But it's going so far so good on this front. Very fond of coming together. It's better if I just leave that there. very difficult to get a grasp of what's going on at the moment, to be honest. Because it spread into the trees, which is where I didn't want it to go. And it seems like my units have sort of pulled them away. Which again, wasn't exactly what I wanted to do. There's a unit of clan axemen that are fighting these guys. And I think what I will end up doing is, I will be running a hammer of an anvil into those clan spearmen and those bandits. I think we've managed to spring the trap okay. I think that was a relatively good win. Get going. Our men have slain the enemy general. Without him, his troops will lose their will to fight. So we've killed both the generals, which pretty much means it's going to be a chain route. There's 
Watchman Bogard. So Donga Hill's dead and Arlian. Come on then. Defensive positions. Right, I'm not sure. Okay, so that's where they got to. Those berserkers, yeah, we, they were holding off the whole sort of area by themselves, weren't they? Some watch Bogard there. This has been a, a fairly decent victory for the most part. For the most part, it's been an easy victory, I say. Pikes. It's a bit of a pain in the arse. There we go. Got some journeymen. They're sort of a hard counter. And I'm going to use those bandits to counter. Yeah. And we're going to run away from the pikemen. We're going to run away from the pikemen. And then we're going to sandwich them between these bandits. The thinking being, if we can use the bandits is in one way, and then them in shield war in the other. Right. You guys can both hold fire. And then we'll bring the cavalry around. So the lumbermen have routed, but, you know, they did their job. There's more of them lost. We've killed about 75%. We've killed about 75% of them, which is good going. And the gatekeepers are still firing. Unnecessarily, probably by now, but still firing. And I think, to be honest, I'll end it there because it's at 80% kills. They've only got 439 remaining. We could have run them down, but. Okay. The merchant militia took quite a few ca casualties, as did the lumbermen. But everyone else held up pretty well. And that's what we wanted. What he did is Gandalf, because Radagast doesn't really do anything, uh, and Saruman falls to darkness, and the other two aren't ever heard of. And we can occupy the settlement, but we're going to exterminate the populace instead. And the last of Dunland's holdings in the north has been taken. We smashed the sack their camp. Don't need ash. Mori's under siege again. And yeah, we're being asked to go and meet approaching their dignitary with them. Tomorrow's journey planned out. Oh, and get some Greenway riders, they're worth it. And we can do some retraining. So, we want to retrain them and them. Uh, 
and the One Ring has been located in Shadoon. And our forwards push is going remarkably well into Argons. Was that your best shot? Yeah. So they might be running around a little bit, but they're not doing particularly well. And we've got another couple of units of infantry on their way. And we are still being sieged by these a-holes. I would like it very much if they effed off. So the approach to Fenestrunen. Right, so our spy network is starting to set itself up. Lord Schools is heading north. And Captain A-Hole is heading that way. We're starting to build up this new army. That will be used to head north. We can retrain that unit and that one. And Argond is slowly but surely submitting. And I think I will call it an episode there. So thanks again for watching. In the next episode we will defend Royal Farbad. We'll take, we've taken Kelly on Mac. And I'm just debating which units to leave behind. Those 55 lumbermen serve their purpose. And I'm going to use this army to head north. Because while we have control of this, it might be worth building an armory. And then I'm going to head north to take Deadman's Dyke. No and then I'm going to bring Andy north soon. Well, in fact, I don't need that many troops in the tribe. So we're going to take them, them, them. And you can lead this new army. Rub. Lord Rub. And we're going to give Rub... God, what a terrible name. Command of the additional forces yes. that we're going to build in Bree. Along with these retrained units here. But thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you're enjoying the series. This is when it's going to get interesting because we've got a two-front war now. But luckily we've got good defensive positions on the river here. Argond will fall to us. And then really the only unknown in this is the Orcs. That we can get the orcs not to attack us for a couple of turns because we've got our spy networks sort of starting to be set up now so we've got a spy there a spy there and a spy there and then we've got sight range of all these areas due to our tower networks and then my thinking is that uh, no not you if I just that's owned by Erid Lewin. And I think that's owned by them still. So Argond really is the last place to fall to us. But thanks again for watching. Have a good day. Bye bye.